All right, hey everybody, uh, Brad Hussey here. I'm just gonna shoot a two minute video, hopefully no more than three minutes, just to show you what it is that I do to screen new clients and customers and potential um, you know, freelance clients, coaching clients, customers, uh, just to make sure they're the right fit, send them away if they're not the right fit and get them on the phone with me if they are the right fit so that I don't have to lift a finger uh, when it comes to people who are interested in working with me but just might not be the right fit. Too, too low a budget, low expectations, not the right expectations. They want something I can't provide or I don't care to provide. So that's what you should have in your freelance business. Instead of sending someone to a contact form where they just, everybody contacts you and then you go back and forth to see if they're the right fit. A week later, they never, they ghost on you. They don't want your budget and they want to go somewhere else or shop around. It's just a waste of time. Eliminate the whole thing and, and just screen them automatically. Here's how you do it. So you go to on this page here um, that you're looking at, I'm gonna link this up so that you can see my example, but I use a tool called Typeform. You can use Google Forms, Airtable, I don't care, it doesn't matter, but the whole idea is you create a form that screens the client, and then they fill out the, the information about the project, the expectations, the budget, the timeline, and other questions that you might ask to find out, is this person serious or not? So you can see how many red flags appear, and then uh, send them on their merry way or uh, embrace them with open arms if they're uh, the right fit. So bradhussey.ca slash RFP will show you the example. I'll also link it up below the video so that you're not confused and you can copy it and use it for your own business. Just reword it so it makes sense and doesn't sound like you're a copycat. All right, so here's the example. I just have a welcome video. I like video, as you can see. So I use this and say, hey, looks like you're interested in working with us. We'd love to work with you. Uh, first, fill the date details out. We'll know if we're a right fit. If we are, we're going to work together, hopefully. And if not, then go away politely. Um, we need some basic contact info, name, email, phone number, whatever, website URL. And then we want to find out, you know, what's the scope of the project? What do you need? web design, marketing, is it an app, whatever. You choose what you can offer and put put it here so that you know, is this someone, is this a project that I want to take on? Or, you know, are, do, they, do they know what I can offer and does it match? Project overview, let us know what's, what's the whole project, why does it matter, what are your goals and objectives, what do you hope to achieve, what's the metric that's going to help us decide that we have succeeded for you, uh, what kind of relationship do you want to explore, is it a project? Is it a one-time thing? Is it ongoing? You can you can leave these things in or take them out, however you want to use it. Um, and then what's the number one problem you're trying to solve with the project? So, you know, are you trying to get more sales? Are you trying to, um, you know, increase your uh, organic search, SEO, whatever? You put that here. We want to find out what the real problem is that we're trying to solve. And then I have some technical questions here. Web designers need things like, is this a dynamic site? What CMS are you using? What's your host? Blah, 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 blah. And then we want to talk about um, other details, but specifically the budget. So we want to know, um, this is a huge screening question. So clients who say, I don't have a budget, or I don't know my budget, or I'm not sure yet. Basically, they're just trying to shop around to see what your price is so they can see if they can get a lower price. Boom, get them out of there. Not a good fit. Or you tell them, so what I do is I say, well, how much do you plan on investing? And then I put the my budget range. But what you could also do, and I've done this as well, is um, are you a key decision maker, yes or no, in the business? And how much do you, um, are you willing to invest at least X amount to solve the problem you outlined in, in question four or whatever? And then that would be their way of seeing, oh, it costs $5,000 minimum to work with this person. It could be a $10,000 project. It could be 5000 monthly. It could be you know, three payments of 2000 or whatever your service offering is and the price is, that's that you want to be able to outline those expectations. And if you're wondering, that might scare people away. That's the point. You want to scare away people who aren't going to meet your minimum budget because bad clients with bad budgets and low expectations or, or high expectations for low prices are not worth working for at any point. Okay. So you want good clients with the right budget and the right expectations. And if they're not matching up in your form, then they got to get out of there and you shouldn't be talking to them. And then a couple other things, timeline and how did you hear about us, additional comments, whatever. But basically the idea here is you want your clients, your leads, your prospective clients to fill this out, give you some data, information, budget, timeline, expectations, what the problem is so that you can, before you even talk to them, before you even type an email back to them, you want to see what is it 
that they need from me? And is this going to be a good relationship? And you could tell from the data on the form, you'll be able to know if this is worth following up or not. So what you'll do is on the thank you page, I say here, this is, this is just, you know, thank you for your interest. We'll get back to you. Now you can make this smarter. If you upgrade to Typeform pro, which you don't have to do, you can do a logic map and you could give them a different thank you screen based on their answers. So if their answers, uh, turns out that they are a really good fit, their thank you screen will say, thanks so much. Here's your link to book a call with us. We'd love to work with you or discuss next steps. But if they're not a good fit, if their budget was too low, or if they didn't answer these certain questions, you could send them to a thank you screen that says, thank you so much for your interest. Uh, we're not taking on new clients at this time at this price range, or we're fully booked and we're not available to work with you, or we don't think our relationship is going to be as beneficial. Uh, you know, we don't think we're going to be able to work together you know, and whatever you want to say. So you could do that, or you could just say, thank you. We'll follow up with you. And then, uh, review the form. If it's good, send them a link to your Calendly to book a call. And then you guys will chat and, uh, hopefully start a fruitful, profitable relationship. What you want to do after that is click share and then embed the form on your site. So in lieu of your contact form, get rid of your contact form and put this instead. Hey, you want to work together? Great. Fill out this form. Give me some details and some context, and then we'll be in touch. And then this will now be your contact form. So you click, get the code and you copy and paste this on your contact page or on a standalone page. And you send new prospective clients and leads there. People who email you and say, Hey, I want to work with you. Should we jump on a call? And you go, perfect. Let's fill out this form first and then we'll go from there. And then you'll know, yeah, we should jump on a call or nope, not going to work. Saves you a whole bunch of time and a whole bunch of back and forth. And then they'll be able to just interact and fill out your form right on your site. And this is going to be your gatekeeper. This is going to protect you from bad clients. They're going to self-screen themselves and good clients are going to come through and you're going to welcome them with open arms. You're going to get them on the phone and you're going to close the deal and you're going to be a happier freelancer. I hope this helps. Typeform.com links below with my example. I highly recommend that you implement this ASAP. Cheerio.